Welcome to another edition of In The Zone. I am your host, Chris Broussard. It's a special edition right after game three of the NBA Finals. Of course, Golden State took a 3-0 lead. Myself and Jason McIntyre will discuss that as always in Knockdown J. But first, I'm gonna hit you with this top five and with the Warriors up 3-0, as I said, on their way to a third championship in four years, that got a brother to thinking, what are the best five dynasties in NBA history? And yes, I am calling these Golden State Warriors a dynasty in the making. So I'm going to start at number five with these Golden State Warriors. I know some of you may think that's low, but look, they're only about to win their third championship in four years. There have been teams to do more throughout NBA history. This is an all-time great team, no doubt about it. Best backcourt in NBA history, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Yes, best backcourt, not just the best shooting backcourt, best backcourt overall. And they're the best shooting team of all time because you throw in the seven-footer, Kevin Durant. This is a team that does it defensively, does it offensively. They've beaten the great, arguably greatest player of all time, LeBron James, three times in the finals. That's why they rank up there now as the fifth best dynasty in NBA history. At number four, the Shaq Kobe Lakers. Gotta give it to them because they three-peated. This Golden State team has not done that. They reached the final Shaq and Kobe four times in five years, losing once. They had two of the top 10 players of all time. And during that three-peat, when they beat Philadelphia, Indiana, and New Jersey, Shaquille O'Neal was arguably the most dominant force we've ever seen in NBA history. That's why they're number four. At number three, let's stay in Los Angeles and go with the Showtime Lakers of Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm going to also throw in my man James Worthy. And a fourth Hall of Famer was Jamal Wilkes. I could go on and on, Byron Scott. Norm Nixon was there for a piece, got a title. Uh, 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 Michael Cooper, I mean, it go on and on. Bob McAdoo, another Hall of Famer, was there for a smidgen. They made eight finals in 10 years. Think about that, eight finals in 10 years. They won five of them. They beat Dr. J, they beat Larry Bird, they beat Isaiah Thomas in the NBA Finals. Showtime Lakers at number three. At number two, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. I mean, need I say more? They had the GOAT, the greatest player of all time, MJ. They were the only team of this list, and I'll get to number one, to never lose in the finals. 6-0 in the finals, two three-peats. I mean, it never got taken to seven games. One of the greatest rebounders of all time for three of their titles, Dennis Rodman. Michael Jordan, I don't need to say more, Bulls number, number two on the list. Number one, Bill Russell Celtics. I know some of you want to make fun and say, oh, back in the 60s, I could have been a great back then. No, they were balling in the 60s and none greater than Bill Russell. Look, he won 11 titles. 11 titles in 13 years. He was 11 and one in the finals. He beat Wilt Chamberlain three times to get to the finals. Beat Wilt again in the finals. Beat Jerry West, the logo, six times in the finals. And the logo had Elgin Baylor, the precursor to Julius Irving, to Michael Jordan, to Connie Hawkins, to Vince Carter, Kobe Brown, all these high flyers we see now. Elgin Baylor, the precursor, they beat him six times too, playing next to Jerry West. Bill Russell with his cast of Hall of Famers, Bob Cousy and all that. They are the greatest dynasty in NBA history. All right, welcome to another segment of Knockdown J. My man, Jason McIntyre, in for another beating. Yeah. What you got for me, man? Well, where should we start? Uh, Chris, uh, you want to start game three? You want to start Brian Colangelo? I think we should start with your top five, because I got a little beef 
with you didn't like my top five? ranking the Warriors dynasty behind the Chicago Bulls. Oh, they were quickly, way behind the Chicago Bulls. Way. I had Bulls two and yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to count the, teams the from the five. '50s when there was 11 teams, that's fine. That's actually your with the Shaq, Kobe, Lakers, and Showtime Lakers. Was that oh, the '50s? Jeez, oh my gosh! I thought uh, Celtics. I mean, you really put so the Warriors that deep? You're disrespecting. You're disrespecting the Shaq, Kobe, Lakers. No, they were good, but these Warriors would crush them. Oh, anyway, yeah. so let's who would stop? Who would have guarded Shaq? <laughs> Draymond Green. <laughs> what would Shaq oh, do in the pick it. and roll and the threes? Come on, let's stop. Let's go to the Warriors, Bulls. Here, here's my quick argument for the Warriors. Okay. I should, I'm. I'm I'm yes, contemplating yes. You just You can't throw you me out of the show. zone every week, man. Right, come on. Come on, come on. So right. they win 73 games in the regular season, okay. most in NBA history. They win three. Wait, 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 They're wait, about wait. to win Hold three. Hold on. You can't stop there. How did that season end? Well, you know, the Draymond suspension in the finals, the Andrew Bogut injury, and they yeah. lost in seven. To, okay. To the, they lost. The greatest or second greatest player, depending who you want to listen to at this network. They lost, LeBron. though. Okay. They didn't, so I don't even know why that season comes up other than to With say 73 wins. Not as a, but the, it Chocolate doesn't liver? matter. Oh my God. They were up 3 It doesn't matter. Anyways. They were down 3 1 too. To Oklahoma City. When you go you that up? the following year with Kevin Durant, they 16 and 1 postseason. The only defeat, the only blemish, a game where Kyrie had 40 and the Cavs set every three point record in the history books uh, in the finals. Then they come back this year. They get by what is considered by the advanced stats, the Rockets, the 65 win Rockets, as the greatest offensive team in NBA history. That's what the advanced stats say about this Rockets offense. They knock them off, and they're about to sweep who you, you know, Cowherd, Whitlock, second best player in NBA history is about to get broomed out of the finals. To me, that is an impressive three wins in four years. And Chris, you know, this isn't ending anytime soon. Clay's 28. Hopefully not. Draymond's 28. KD, 29. Steph Curry, 30. They could win three more in a row. Could. Have they? They will. We deal with facts, not feelings. Okay, on, so we'll stick with down, the three, oh, the three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Okay, they've won three. And you're saying they're better than the Bulls? Well, the as Bulls far won as three and their five. Their dynasty is better than the Bulls. The Bulls won three and five. No, no, no. no. Yes, they did. The <laughs> Bulls won six. <laughs> six. Six is better than three. In fact, it's double three. Right. How in the world does a team that wins three rings in four years be a better dynasty than a team that won six you know, in essentially I, six years? I got a good idea. Why doesn't Curry and Durant just take a year and a half off and then come back and be refreshed for another run? Like that, that to me, Jordan taking that time off diminishes what they accomplished a little bit. A year and a half off, and I will say six. this. In six years. No, what, what, the other two years don't matter? No, they don't. Oh, Because Michael Jordan just wasn't there. Yeah, just like Michael Jordan's years with the Wizards don't matter. Chris, let me ask you this. Did uh, Michael Jordan's Bulls ever sweep anybody in the finals? Did they? Who cares? Oh. They, did they ever go seven? <laughs> did they ever lose? How about that? Fair. How about forgetting number of games? Did they ever yeah, lose they ever in the finals? Well, I mean, you know, Scottie Pippen gets thrown out for some bogus uh, technical foul and uh, suspension. It maybe, wasn't maybe, bogus. Maybe. He kept this cool. Draymond didn't uh, keep this cool. And the fact is, who knows? We don't know if they would have right. they lost. So, they would have won. McIntyre starts there's out one no, nothing. There's no issue. Curry Look, Durant, baby. Six <laughs> is double three. I got the best player, Michael Jordan. I My team never lost in the finals. Yeah, sure, did. Humor me for a second. It, it's, it's over. Just humor me for a second. Uh, how do the matchups go in that series? Just run through them quickly. Who guards Curry, Jordan or you could it could Curry be any Paxson? number of people. <laughs> no, how about Ron Harper, who was a very good defender. Wow. He was good. He was very well, good. All defender. NBA? No, but okay. he was a very yeah, good very defender. Good. Right. Scottie Pippen is on Kevin Durant. Yeah, he'll Michael do a, Jordan's he'll do a matched job up with Clay torched. Thompson. Okay. Um, nah, look, it's come on. Dennis Rodman is on Draymond. Oh God. I might put Rodman on Durant and muscle him. I'm not even arguing. You mean just foul but, but trying to get under skin. I'm not even arguing that they're the better team. I'm saying which dynasty, dynasty yeah. is better. Yeah. And I got one dynasty that won six titles in six years. Eight I got years. another dino- just, dynasty. Well, I'll even give you seven <laughs> if you want to take Jordan's 17 game season and count it. Now, how come no one talks about Shaq and Penny baseball. just beating their Because he them was down. playing baseball right. for a year and That's a half. That's his fault. But still, no, right. everybody, anybody with a brain in their head knows six and six years Bruce or Sorry. seven years is better than three and four. Go ahead. Uh, let's move on to the next topic. Um, Bring something better. Kevin please. Durant just dropped 43. Looked like the best player on the planet. He was in last game night. He was game, unbelievable. He was, no My gosh. I'm going to have to recreate that shot on Instagram just for the, for the watchers out there. 
But I got to ask you, LeBron's Please a free don't. agent. Please don't. LeBron's a free agent. You know I've been riding the Lakers train hard. Kevin Durant can opt out. Yep. People are speculating, well, why don't LeBron and Kevin Durant team up on the Who's Lakers? speculating that? You know, internet people, the Twitter trolls. Is it out there? Eggs. I mean, you know, people are starting to write this. I think people are just looking at it and saying, hey. Why not? He could be free. Nobody's considering him. Yeah. Okay. Personally, I think that would be an awful look for Kevin Durant. So Durant you know? and LeBron going to the Lakers. Yeah, they would be dominant. Um, I think they would probably take down the Warriors, depending on how the Warriors filled the Durant spot. I just think that's a bad look for KD. You just beat LeBron twice, badly, okay? Durant, you won uh, finals MVP last year. He could win it again this year. Uh, I, I just don't see why Kevin Durant would leave this amazing situation in a game where Curry can go off. Next game, Clay goes off. There's no pressure on Durant. And you start stacking chips. I just don't see how LeBron and KD could ever team up with the Lakers. Uh, I'm with you on this one. I, I, I think that would be a bad look for both of them, actually. For LeBron? I, I de- yeah, I definitely think it would be a bad look for KD. Oh, okay. Because there are some, I've talked to players around the league and, and other people, fans, who are saying that, yeah, we understand how great KD is, but they're a little, they're not as high on these rings because some feel like he took the oh, easy way. I'm not saying I feel that way. I'm please just saying. Tell, just for the record, just let look me into th- the camera. Do you think Kevin Durant took the easy way out? And I wouldn't say the okay, easy way. I give him lo- look. I, I'm I have not ripped Durant for going to the Warriors. I won't start now, but you did go to a 73 win team. I mean that's that's un- that had a championship. That's undeniable. So, but there are those that feel like he took the easy way out. If he but if if you went to the Lakers with LeBron, they would say the same thing if you won it because you got the best player in the world. Yeah. You got the two best players in the world, and. If, if you stay with Golden State, it is essentially becoming his team. I've always said Steph Curry is the most important player on the team. Mm-hmm. Kevin Durant's the best player. Steph's the most important. But when the push has come to shove, when their backs have been against the wall, when it's been time to close the deal the last two years, right. it has been Kevin okay, Durant let me stop who you has done it. Hold on, let me finish. Okay. And so, in a lot of people's minds, this is a group that's going to be a team. Yes. Like Kobe, I mean, uh, Magic, Kareem, they're a team. They were you a team. Argue over Kobe whose and team Shaq, I don't know that they were a team. There well, was they always were a great that, team. But, but there was that tension. It, it, it was probably Shaq's team. team but it? it was both. They were both so close. It. They were both so close, too, though, that you just look at the Shaq Kobe Lakers. So, I'm not saying this is like, you know, I just think if you had to say it's one person's team, but, it probably would be Durant. But you don't have if he to go, say that. I know, I, I know. But my point is, he would get probably the lion's share of the credit. If you go play with LeBron, then a lot of people will say it's LeBron's team, uh, and it, it may end up being his team. If you're LeBron, Kevin Durant, this is why I say it's a bad look for LeBron. Kevin Durant, as you said, he just smoked you twice in the yeah. finals, right? It looks like if you can't beat him, join, join him. him. Yeah. And so, so I don't think it's a good look so for So I think one this is why he left Oklahoma City. You, we're talking about whose team is it, Curry or Durant. I don't think they think like that in Golden State. I don't State. think he cares. They're a unit. Yeah, like, agree. Curry does not need that. Russell Westbrook needed that. He, he wanted the ball. He wanted the late shots. I, I think that's probably why Durant left for the Warriors, because they don't think like that. I don't He's, think it was about whose team it was, because it was clearly his team. Well, he I was mean, the better player, but, but Westbrook people was the point it, guard. But, yeah, but people viewed it as Durant, number one. But I agree with you. I don't think he or the Warriors care about whose team it is. And that's they, why they're special. Now, I'll ask you, do yeah. the do the LeBron plus Durant Lakers, do they dominate the West? I Whether think it's Houston, they Warriors? would... I would pick them. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know them. how you replace they beat the, Kevin Durant. The you know, so um, l- I'm gonna throw out a bonus, a bonus uh, knockdown, ooh, Jay. Second, ooh, okay. It just so happens bonus. I'm ready for a bonus. Well, because you brought up something interesting. Um, you don't think Durant's a shoe in for the MVP of the finals? I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I, I think he is. I, I, I would have okay. loved to have Steph won it. I think after the first two games, Steph was the favorite. But after last okay. night, let's say they all three have pretty good games in game four okay. and they win. Durant oh, has to be the MVP. Timeout. Let, okay, so let's talk through this. Isn't. Game one, Kevin Durant was bad. He had I mean, a, what were his numbers? Well, hold, timeout. I think he was eight for 22 shooting. Can we he, get that? He, he missed the J.R. Smith box out. Okay, he took a lot of bad Did shots late in regulation. 
Could have killed him. I mean, did it? Did it? <laughs> Could have killed him. Did it? It didn't because J.R. Smith, you matter. know, LeBron. So it's irrelevant. He didn't have a good game. Curry had a better game than Durant in game one. But Slightly was better. he spectacular? He was not spectacular. Okay. Game two, Curry was spectacular. Set yeah. a record with nine threes. Durant was really good, though. Durant was very good. Game three, Durant Curry was, was awful. Durant, Durant was Durant phenomenal. Durant was 10 for 14 so in game, it, game uh, three, two. He had like 29, he was eight, nine. And he was amazing. Yeah. But I think it's going to come down to game four. And my guess... What did Curry do in game three? Curry was awful. How many points did he have? Ten? You're not winning the finals MVP with a ten-point game. But that's the reason. Unless it goes seven and he's spectacular. In a four-game series, you can't have one bad game. If Curry has 35 in game four. Well, if, right, if he has 35 and Durant has 20... Four. Yeah. Durant's well, MVP. I be- okay, that's possible. But remember, the media votes on this. Durant's You've been not going to have 10 points. Do you think the media is more likely to vote for Curry, a guy who's never won the finals MVP and has been very good in the series, or Durant, who's been, you know, he, he was not good in game one. And then if Curry he cleans up in game He wasn't nearly four, as bad as Steph was in game three. That's factual. But I don't think you're basing it on just game three. Because he was horrible. <laughs> what did he shoot? He had, what, give me a stat. Two for two 15. Two for 15. I think he had 10 points. Two for, now look. I'll give you this. If it goes seven, that's it's four not going more games. Seven, I'm just saying, right. you if you have a ten point game, you need other games by which to make that ten point game disappear. So you, okay, so what, one game is not so enough. So you think automatically Durant's gonna be the I mean, assuming Durant's not gonna have ten points. Durant has been the most consistent scorer on the Warriors throughout the playoffs. His lowest scoring game has been twenty two points. Yes. In the whole playoffs. So he was great. In game two, he was phenomenal in game three. He is head and shoulders above mm. anyone else in the race for MVP. Well, now. I think he's a, he's the leader, but I by refu- far uh, by his ten points, two for fifteen <sighs> in a game. Durant had forty three. How many guys in the media vote for Finals MVP? Is it fifteen guys? Ten? guys? I don't guys? know what it is now. I, I remember times I voted in the past it was like eleven. Do you think they would split the MVP? Curry and Durant. I mean, they not do it, that? it would just have to happen randomly, but I think they have an odd number of Odd voters. number, okay. I mean, it could happen if, you know, because other guys could get a vote. Maybe some, you know. So. My guess is Durant in game four comes out, I want to get Curry the MVP. He's never been a finals MVP. I think he feeds Curry and tries to get it for him. I don't think Durant's built like that where he's like, oh, no, I got to get I, I, I get I don't think Durant cares. I don't think Curry cares, to be honest. I, I think they're just going to go out and play. But I, you can't go out in an NBA game, especially a finals game, and say, I want to get him. Play. You just got to play. play right? you, don't, you don't play with history right. like that. You better close out Cleveland and both How play your best. Clay drops 50 in game four. No. It's, it's, no it's, shot? It's I mean, Durant's okay. not going to. That's look, how this team Durant, is, though. You I'll don't give know. you this. If Steph went out in game four and had 49, and it's just lighting it up. I don't know. And Durant cool. had seven. Well, that's, I mean, that's, but that's not happening. That's not happening. All right, let's go point. to the final so topic. So Durant. This is the hottest topic. 3-0, in, Bruce Hart. This is the hottest topic in the NBA today. The 76ers have parted ways with uh, Brian Colangelo. Uh, you President, know, we, yeah. we know the situation there in Philly has been ugly. I, I, we want to ask, did the 76ers do the right thing? Chris, the evidence now uncovered by the law firm is that his wife was behind the Twitter accounts and they have found no evidence that Colangelo was involved. So when you hear that, is there any way that the Sixers should have said, well, listen, we got to keep Colangelo. I mean, did they do the right thing here? I think they did. I feel bad for Brian, um, but I think they did the right thing. And look, I... I know I talk with my wife about stuff that goes on yes, at work. Yes, indeed. You know, and, and you know, I, I don't blame him for talking to his no. wife. I mean, you, you talk to your wife yeah. probably. But There's a I, huge I, divide among the single people, the young single people who are like 25, and they're like, well, why would you tell your wife this stuff? Guys, guys. Exactly. <laughs> when you get married, you share everything with your wife. Not, and you don't even do thing. it out of obligation. Yeah. You just, that's your that's wife. That's your partner you, in if, life. If you can't yeah. talk to her or she can't talk to you about what's going on at work, then why are you married? Yeah, yeah you exactly. know. So I don't blame him for talking about that stuff with his wife. It's unfortunate I mean, that she went out and tweeted they're it. They're probably sitting in bed, you know, hanging out at the dinner table. He sees the Meek Mill Joel Embiid video, and he's like, what the heck yeah, is my guy exactly. doing while shirtless, man? Come on. And I don't blame him. Like, That's yeah, understandable. Exactly. But I at mean, the same time, I would agree with you. You've got to let go. Yeah, you, you they, can't they bring had him back. To, because 
Now the trust is broken. Totally. And now if you're a player for the Sixers, if you're an agent dealing with the Sixers, if you're a an executive, whatever, and you're talking to Brian Colangelo, in the back of your mind, there are two doubts. One, what I'm sharing with him, is it going to stay here? Because, you know, they know too. Your wife, you just talk to your wife. Yeah. So does she tweet it out? Number two, even though they didn't find evidence, don't yeah. tell me everybody's sitting there thinking, oh, Brian didn't do anything. Yeah. Some people still probably think he and has he was something involved. to do with yeah. it. Yeah, he looked so, the other way, right? And you just don't know. So I think for that reason, unfortunately, you had to do it. I'll say this. I bet you he lands somewhere else. Not not Ooh. this year or next year. Like in a consultant well, role Jerry, or actual? Jerry Colangelo, his yes. dad, is one of the most powerful guys in the NBA. Right. And in basketball in general. That's, that's and a so tough I could sell see, on your fan base, Chris. Hey, by the I, way, the Markel few, Fultz trade is still out no, there. I, this could a be a, yeah. a Greg Oden, Kevin Durant type deal yeah. when you factor in a trade. So I, I give it a few. Fans didn't I, like that. Guy. I agree. I agree. But give it a few years, yeah. couple years. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think. Let me ask you this. This is one sucks. of the best jobs out there. This is better than any head coaching job that exists in the exactly. NBA that's available. You know, you got you're gonna inherit two top 15 players in the league in Simmons and Embiid. Um, your thoughts on the David Griffin possibly getting the job to bring in LeBron? Would that well, work? LeBron and his, you know, yeah. uh, brain trust. They they obviously like David Griffin. Um, yeah. They they you know they got along well with him in Cleveland. Now, would David Griffin get LeBron? Like, is it well, if you hire thing, David yeah. Griffin, is it automatic? No. No. LeBron not, ain't gonna be like, hey, David, yeah, Dave, let's exactly. It's not he's gonna follow him. But David Griffin would certainly be a GM that LeBron would respect and have no problem with. Uh, I, would they? They're in position to handpick whoever they want. Yeah, I mean, you could have big names out there. Somebody from the Celtics, the Spurs, maybe even the Warriors front office who's like, "Yeah, that's a great job." You know, well, I, I'll and jump also in on that. it's like Rich Paul, who's the agent for LeBron James and Ben Simmons, is very close with Philadelphia ownership. So I don't know. It depends on what LeBron and them are going to want. Are they going to want? to hand pick a GM. Does LeBron even want to go to Philadelphia? All that has to factor in. Yeah. Uh, but if you're Philadelphia, you do you do your due diligence. Yeah. You find out how serious he is about Philadelphia, what it will take to get him. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, if it would take him hand picking the GM, <laughs> look. It's not like he hasn't hand picked a coach they, before. Yeah, they haven't you know, won like, a title since yeah. 1983. Woo. And I will say this, LeBron and Remember, Ben is a protege of LeBron's. Rich Paul is the agent for Ben Simmons. Right. They're not going to do something that is just selfish for them. Right. They're going to also look out for the best interests of Ben Simmons. Yeah. Honestly, what I think needs to happen in Philly, too, is LeBron and Ben Simmons, and, and if Rich Paul wants to be there, fine, they need to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Honestly. LeBron and Ben Simmons? Yes, because... Yeah. I, that's why I don't think it's going to work. It has to be like... How is LeBron gonna play? We saw this with Kyrie in Cleveland. Yeah, but LeBron was, come back and it's like it's LeBron's teams and Kyrie's like you drafted me to be the guy and it no, broke no, down no, over no, three no, after no. three. But years. Kyrie shouldn't have been the guy. LeBron's the guy. Yes, okay. but There's these no, young this guys. This was the issue. Number one overall pick. There were. It, it, LeBron, Kyrie's not stupid. He knew LeBron was the guy. Okay, anybody that gets on the court with LeBron is gonna see he's the guy. The issue there were many issues, but one was that. Kyrie was a point guard, and a point guard who wanted to handle the ball. And that is the issue. Whereas, let's say LeBron handled it, I don't know, 60 to 70% of the time with Kyrie, 60%, whatever. With Ben Simmons, it should be about 10%. Oh, well, Kyrie 10 can play off the ball. He can make threes. Exactly. Ben can't. He can't do nothing. And that, no. they have to have this heart-to-heart. -heart. Not only, okay, are you willing to go off the ball, yeah. But do you really think you can? You've been playing on the ball, LeBron, not since you entered the NBA, tough, since Chris. you began playing basketball. And they have to honestly have that because it, it would hurt LeBron too. It wouldn't just hurt Ben if LeBron has the ball. Ben Simmons is not going to help your team this if he's is, off yeah, the ball that's a great most point. of the time. He can occasionally. He can post. Yeah. And, and this last thing I'll say, and then you can go, it would help LeBron at his age – 
it would conserve energy if he's off the ball. If he's at the elbows, sometimes in the post, on the wing, moving sometimes without the ball, that's a lot less pressure. This is where I miscalculated Houston. I did not think Chris Paul and James Harden would work. James James Harden had just become the point guard, was like top three in assists. But James Harden had been a shooting guard before. Chris Paul can play off the ball and make shots, and they it we worked didn't in know Houston. Chris could do that. I know. Well, it was like, wow. So the Sixers made the right decision, essentially, here, getting rid of Colangelo. I, I, I think uh, we're in agreement here. Yeah, so we'll go so. with a 2-1-1 score. No, we'll go with a 4-0. Uh, we agreed on one. How could that be a victory for you? It Come just, on. Because it's my show. <laughs> Knock down, Jay. My man, Jason McIntyre. As always, go to Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, iTunes, download the pod, give us five stars, leave a comment if you like what you've been hearing.